is the news and talk of Texas. Now, it's the Rick Roberts Show on 820 AM, 99.5 FM, HD2, News Talk 820, WVAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Yeah. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right now. And 204 the time. Welcome to Court of Public Opinion Monday edition. Hope you had a good, a great weekend. Man, we got a ton of stuff to get to. We're going to be talking with somebody that uh, has been involved with these investigations, these bombings and so forth a little bit later in light of what's uh, occurred in Austin. Uh, Also, if you live in Fort Worth and you smoke... (laughs) Probably shouldn't. I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. Something, uh, well, something starts today that may put a uh, a crimp in your style. If you like to have a sparkling beverage and a uh, and a cool at the same time in Fort Worth. Uh, but first, I'm very very pleased to have with me uh, David Prince, owner of Eagle Gun Range, both in Farmers Branch and Louisville. As uh, you may recall, we were. Uh, talking with David for, gosh, the last couple of weeks about the fallen Richardson police officer. And um, David stepped up to do a raffle, and it kind of grew organically. I think David initially wanted to raise about $10,000 for the widow and the, the two uh, two daughters. And uh, with your help, um, far exceeded that. With me is uh, David Prince. David, you had a raffle today, right? Yes, sir. We had the drawing at 10 o'clock when we first opened. Our first customer came in, and we asked him to draw seven tickets, and we were able to call everybody, and we've been uh, excited to uh, have raised $41,461 for wow. Nicole, Emily, and Grace. That's that's amazing. That's I mean, that really is amazing. <laughs> it's heart heartwarming to know that there's that many people that love the our thin blue line and love this family and, and want to, to- show their support. Well, I've had people emailing me all day. Do you know who won this? Do you know who won that? Uh, so I'm going to let you tell them. How's that? Uh, we, we've uh, reached out to several of them. We're still working on some of this, but uh, there's Anna and from Denton and Mike uh, is from uh, the Denton area as well. Uh, Richard is an 85-year-old gentleman. He's won. We're, they're still trying to pick out what they uh, they want, so we haven't had a chance to get all that tied down. Uh, one of them's going to win that FN scar and the other one's going to win the HK 40 cal pistol and a circle J fire pit. So they were all have, uh, we're still trying to reach everybody and make sure everybody's picked up things they wanted. The star tickets have all been awarded. Uh, there was, uh, Julie and, uh, James and Norm. Oh, that's so great. We've, in fact, one of your listeners, um, I think it was the 85, 85-year-old gentleman from uh, uh, Denton, Richard, I think, has uh, picked out the, uh, the fire pit. And then one of your listeners, uh, James, uh, won two of them. He won the uh, <laughs> uh, star tickets and then won the uh, fitness. Uh, somebody called in after the show Friday and wanted us to award uh, a free membership to their gym. Oh wow! So wow, your your listeners have stepped up in a massive way as as, as you have, Rick. I mean, it's we 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 were expecting ten thousand, and like I said, you you get embracing this and and, and giving us the time. Uh, I mean, that's just short of a miracle that we've raised forty one thousand four hundred and sixty one dollars for this precious family. Oh, that's uh, you know what it, it's. Uh, the audience never ceases. I've been doing this a long time. I've been on television, uh, talk radio, radio, uh, talk radio for 25 years. And every time you reach out to the audience, I don't do it often, but every time they always come through. I mean, you know, we started the Warrior Foundation in uh, in San Diego out of Balboa Hospital. Um, and it all started because uh, a Navy mom and a Navy wife, uh, Sandy Limcooler, came to me and said, can I ask for donations for razors so the guys in Balboa amputees can stay squared away? Well, we raised so much money, we said, what do we do with the rest of this? Well, let's start a foundation. Um, In four years, $17.5 million, uh, got a donation from uh, 
uh, Sumner Redstone um, and uh, bought an apartment complex, had it completely outfitted for amputees so the guys could go from the hospital to the apartment complex rent-free with their families to sort of ease their way back into civilian life. And it's still going today. It's called freedomstation.org. And, uh, you know, every time you reach out to the audience, they're there. I mean, all of that, that 17 million was through donations, $5, $50, um, well, I've, I've got to think, uh, Sumner Redstone for a half a mil, but I mean, wow. you know, we did, uh, we did all kinds of things, you know, six pack fishing tours and golf tournaments and all that kind of thing. The audience is always there. If it's a good and valid, uh, reason, they always step up. You know, I, many of these things couldn't be done under a government program, uh, but they could be done by reaching out to your neighbors and the people you work with and, and so on. So I knew when this came up, um, we had to talk about it. So 40,000, over 40,000, 41,000 to that family. That's not going to bring their father or her husband back, but at least maybe it'll make it a little easier in the next year or so. Well, we wanted the family to know. I mean, there was over 1,200 people that stepped up to do this. And uh, to Nicole, Emily, and Grace, you know, our prayers and our best wishes go out to them, but uh, something a little bit more tangible can now go with it as well. Amen to that. Thank you, Thank you for uh, everything you've done, Rick. Well, uh, this kind of wraps it up, David. I got used to talking to you every week, but uh, <laughs> David Prince is owner of the Eagle Gun Range. It's in Farmers Branch and Louisville. I've been there. I've seen the facility, state-of-the-art place, lots and lots of inventory, and you would be hard-pressed to find uh, – nicer people than david and his wife they are truly salted the earth and david i would just want to publicly thank you for helping out this officer's family as well well you're welcome and god bless you for all the help you've been to david prince eagle gun range i appreciate it very very much 11 minutes after the hour uh if you're in fort worth and you smoke and you like to have an adult beverage you might get used to doing that at home your call straight ahead 